dinner and a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Be safe, be healthy. Bros, dudes, and two deans. Let's go to the movies. Okay, all right. Well, let's talk about a bro. What do you, what do you, what do you get? Yeah. With? Tell us, tell us about it. Yes, bros in theaters beginning tomorrow, September 30th. The major studios have only released four LGBTQ romantic comedies in cinema history, and bros is the latest, and in many ways the most ambitious and blatantly romantic. Plus, lots of man love and canoodling. <laughs> Billy Eichner of Billy on the Street was, is, is in his first major lead role as Bobby, a podcaster who is gay, 40 years old, and has never had a major relationship. He survives through a series of increasingly shallow hookups until he is suddenly smitten by Aaron, Luke McFarlane, a hunky estate lawyer. They both play hard to get, but eventually both get got and end up together. Can this budding couple survive Bobby's attempt to open the new LGBTQ National Museum in New York City? Constant gay lifestyle temptation and meeting Aaron's parents. It's the rom-com, so you know. So this is just delightful with the right touch of cynicism, romance, and hilarity without burning out any category. Quite an impressive feat. Billy Eichner is surprisingly sensitive given his loudmouth image and anchors the film while enhancing it. Most surprisingly was Luke McFarlane as Aaron, succeeding at doing some emotional heavy lifting beyond his international male good looks. Filled with past and present gay icons like Harvey Fierstein, Bowen Yang, Kristen Chenoweth, and a surprise cameo, Scott, that was simply hilarious. What can I say? Love is love, and that's what makes a rom-com work. And there is love and hilarious comedy aplenty, while Billy and Aaron take a chance and make a change. Fabulous bros, four and a half out of five, uh, opening tomorrow in theaters, September 30th. 